previously on 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. It's, hey, it's Arnold. <laughs> Comes in naked. Give me your claws. <laughs> <laughs> what, what? Give me your claws. Puts on his high school sailor outfit. <laughs> I thought I feel pretty. I'll just claw. Must save John Connor in the future. Ah. Get out of here, Arnold. You're in the wrong gate. Shut up. I look adorable in this in this little dainty outfit. You see my scars? And now back to... <laughs> the f*** is this? The f*** was that? <laughs> the f*** are you? Sneako B, back with some more 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. When we last left off, we met Mr. Kitty, who uh, doesn't seem quite as nice as all the other games where he's in. Actually, what am I talking about? He's a, he's a piece of shit in every game he's in. Never mind, he's the exact same. He hasn't changed at all. But definitely very similar in quality, honestly, to the uh, to the, the cat from, uh, from Off. That was what the game was. Where you play the slugger guy, and you have a little cat, and he trains you and to go kill the bad guys or whoever. And I just happened to give him an, a bit of an accent as well. And <laughs> just like this cat. I tell you what, though, this game is... Uh, <laughs> this game is just fucking crazy, but I kind of love it for that. Like, this shit, like, they just keep throwing just a whole bunch of plot points and shit. You're just like, what the fuck is even happening? But I want to know why. Why is this cat talking to me? What's up with all this time travel bullshit? What's the continuity of all this? By the way, you guys did clarify. And I mean, I sort of gathered that myself. But yeah, so basically the point where we're all in the mechs and we're fighting dudes is basically sort of the end point, right? That's like towards the end of this series of plot points that have ha been happening, which is interesting, which makes me think, is that mean that every fight we have in our robots is always going to be in that area towards the end of the of the main plot and everything else is just going to be like fucking flashbacks because we are jumping all over the place in time and not just the characters themselves but just us as the viewer jumping to so many different plot points scatter all over the demon place i don't know I just i'm just curious to see like how this progresses how they start to explain so many plot points they've already just basically shotgunned into the our freaking brains but yes i also do just want to say thank you guys so much uh for all the amazing fan art i'm already seeing uh of this game you guys have been sending me on twitter i really do appreciate it i'm going to be showing them off in the fan art of the day for uh, each of these episodes i might also start doing it for uh for ai the somnium files as well because there already is quite a fair amount of it but uh, i do really appreciate it honestly please keep it coming i do want to just see some more if you're if you're a talented artist and you like drawing anime <laughs> which is a lot of people these days please Please show me some more of your six skills. And let's just hope that maybe uh, pe people drawing cool images of this game will lead to other people playing it. Because uh, one of you guys commented about the popularity of this game. Uh, and someone who really did a good job of explaining it all was uh, Hasaniko9999, who uh, last episode said, uh, Nico, last episode in this one, you mentioned how and why this game hasn't been getting attention. Unfortunately, I'm extremely t sad to tell you that this game's English version sold terribly. In Japan, it originally sold only 35,000 copies before people like Sakurai, Yokotaro, and General Word of Mouth helped boost it to over 100,000 copies sold physically and digitally, which Atlas Vanillaware considered selling above expectations. In the West, however, despite critical acclaim, its presence is practically non-existent. Despite being a PlayStation exclusive, Sony hasn't really promoted it in any way and seemed to actively try to smother it, as it's been doing with some other Japanese games lately. Meanwhile, Atlas USA didn't really have much success promoting it. The lack of footage of the game, the battle gameplay or the grandiose mecha combat probably didn't help, leading more general audience to negatively dismiss it as an anime walking simulator with naked high school kids. Thorough being a full price $6 release and the marketing to anyone that wasn't a big Atlas or Vanillaware fan just didn't reach. Add the fact that you have this massive interconnected plot starring over 10 protagonists, all with Japanese names and a super Japanese setting with constant plot twists, insane time travel, giant mecha, monsters, all constitute a buttload of spoilers, and talking about this game in general just becomes that much harder to sell people on. The biggest explanation for the lack of popularity in the sales figures, or lack thereof, in Japan we can see the numbers for the top 30 selling games via Famitsu. In the US, you can gain access to the top 20 selling games physically and digitally via the NPD organization, and you can see digital top sellers on PS4 for USA and EU via Sony's website. The UK also displays the top 20 selling games for each pu month publicly. Now, 13 Sentinels came out on the 22nd of September, but most games tend to sell most of their copies in the first week. Someone by the YouTube name of Spencer Presley made a whole video on this game's financial situation in the West. 
I recommend looking it up for better details. It's only 14 minutes long. And he kindly shared screenshots of NPD rankings for September. Basically, 13 Sentinels wasn't there at all. It wasn't on the UK charts at all either. It was posted on the PS4 digital rankings for EU, and the most damning part was the USA PS4 digital ranking. It wasn't there, but what was there in the 20th rank was Jump Force. 13 Sentinels was being outsold by Jump Force, a clunky as heck failure of an anime crossover fighting game that came out in early 2019, and that's just depressing. This game deserves so much more attention and fans between the artwork, the music, the story, the gameplay, and the sheer passion you can see VanillaWare and Atlas put into making all of this a reality. So thank you, Tanika, for trying your best to get this game out there for people to see and for fans to share because they are truly missing out. I I really do agree with that. And, and it's very interesting. You sort of kind of highlight something that I didn't really, I, I guess maybe didn't occur to me. I sort of assumed that I was just missing out, right? Like I was just like, oh, this game was probably hyped up quite a bit, but I was just, you know, I just missed it or something. I think it's more that this game just didn't get much of any coverage by us. Like, I genuinely didn't know this game existed until it was already released and people were talking about it. And I was like, oh, oh okay, yeah, Vanillaware, I know, I know them. Which is why I was surprised, too, when I actually found out that, oh, this game doesn't exist on any other system but Sony. So it's a Sony exclusive, so you think they would be, like, really putting it under the limelight, right? And promoting it. But there's been, like, nothing. They've said nothing. And for just the, the sheer quality that I've seen from this game, it's, like, genuinely baffling. Because it's, like, I mean, I haven't seen all the games, so it could just turn to total shit at some point, but it seems pretty high quality, in my opinion. And, like, a ton of effort and thought was put into it. So it is very sad and disappointing to see this sort of, like, dismissal by so many people. And I don't know, I'm just hoping that in any small way, maybe this, uh, this Let's Play and the bit of fan art you guys have been sending me will hopefully maybe shine a light on this game and get people actually interested in it. I think that's probably why Yoko Taro and Sakurai and others actually went out of their way to say that this game was great, right? Like, they, like it would have been one thing if it was, the game was already, like, super popular or something and been like, oh, yeah, we already know that. But I think they really went out of their way to say that because they don't... I don't know if they necessarily do that super often, right? A lot of these big guys actually go out of their way to say, yes, this game is great. You need to play it. It's because nobody was playing it. Yeah, that's... That's unfortunate. I don't really understand it either. Like, why have an exclusive deal with Sony, right? Why would Sony have that exclusivity deal if they're not going to fucking promote it? Especially not in the West. Do they just assume nobody's a fucking weeb over here? Are you kidding me? Look at me. Look at all the people in the comments. For fucking fuck's sake. But Hasaniko, thank you so much for shedding some light on that. It is, uh, even if it is kind of a sad news, but, uh, with a ray of hope that Maybe this dumb Let's Play will have some impact on it in some tiny way. And it is for that reason you are comment of the day. But all right, so we have uh, unlocked Amaguchi as well as uh, the uh, Glasses Girls. I can't remember because there's too many fucking Japanese names. Senju, Senju? is that right? Uh, but now we got Ai Sekihara, and this is the guy that was, uh, Iori was, had the hots for. She was like, love at first sight. Have we seen him in anybody else's story up to this point? I think we might have, I don't know, there's so many characters. Uh, he might have jumped in one of the battles. I, I can't remember with who, though. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and see what's uh, up with him. Okay. I don't know, we may not have seen him. Oh, that's right, we did see him uh, in that flashback when uh, Takatoshi went into the future, right? He was the spy, right? Damn, no way out. Okay, back to 1985. On the run again? Oh my god. Go? The men in black. Wait. Shoot him in the dick. You know who I am, don't you? That's why you've been following me. Of course I do. You can't escape us, eh, Sekigahara? Sekigahara? What do you want from me? Tell me. Hmm. Interesting. You have a death wish. What's that reaction? Wait. Is that not his name? It's because... You came from another dimension. Another dimension? Enough with the games. Tell me the truth. <sighs> Resistance is futile. Surrender now or else. Fuck you. If you won't answer my questions, eat this. Then talking to you is what's futile. Get fucked. Another dimension. 
Could that really be true? Even if it is, huh. there's no way I'd be able to tell. My memories. They're gone. Oh god damn it, your memories are gone too. Why are our memories keep disappearing? Uh, oh, phaser. It's the thing I had, so I'm gonna say it's gonna say it didn't kill him. I should have two or three shots left if I can serve power. M maybe. This gun does feel a bit out of the ordinary. Could it really be from another dimension? Hmm. Okay, so he just doesn't even, he doesn't remember it all coming here. Hey, Seki Gahara. It's no use. I can't remember anything. But that's what he called me. It has to mean something. Is that, uh... Same thing that happened to Juro, then. I still see the green icons. I mean, I still got things to... As long as it's set to stun, oh. it won't kill anybody. But it's strange. Why do I know how to use this? Okay, it, I can actually examine it multiple times sometimes, but it's still green. A Sekigahara. That name doesn't sound familiar. But it apparently belongs to me. I do wonder if Juro had, like, basically... The same thing that happened to him happened to Juro as well, all right? The removal of his memories or whatever. That's my gun now. Good. He's still alive. Let's change that. Sure to set it to stun, not kill. Just who are these guys? Check belongings. Hmm. Maybe he has something on him that'll give me a clue. Just a pair of handcuffs in his pocket. And some old communication device? It's huge. All he has left on him is his wallet. You won't mind if I borrow these, will you? Huh. I mean, that seems... That device, that communication device, is definitely indicative of the times. I mean, that's... That's a... That's something that wouldn't fit... That would fit in a 1985 setting. I'd better not use this here. Its range looks to be only one or two kilometers. That means his little friends can't be too far. If I mess with it now, they'll know I'm nearby. An outdated transceiver for communication purposes. It has a very limited range. Nothing in here but cash. Might as well put it to good use. I haven't eaten a thing in two days after all. Hang on. This is strange. The designs on these bills look completely different. There's even a 500 yen bill. Aren't those out of print? And these coins are from back in the Showa era. Damn, damn this guy had been all over time or something? It is too risky. It's likely under surveillance. It might be safest to travel along the river. But before that, I should really get something to eat. Two days ago, I woke up in that alley. My memory's gone. Ah. Since then, I've been on the run non-stop. Shit, there was still more dialogue in that one thou whatever. <sighs> Two days ago. Where am I? <gasps> Teddy no Teddy Sama! How did I get here? I can't remember anything. <sighs> what is this? Some kind of gun? Why would I have something like this? Everything is a complete blank. Why am I here? Seems like the don't even the nurse the is the one erasing memories, so I guess it wouldn't be surprising that she's here. Did she like? It seems like she's trying to get us to forget something, right? But for what reason? Is this thing real? Why would I be carrying a weapon? How would that benefit us? Hey, miss. Are you okay? She isn't breathing. Oh, fuck. I wonder... What happened here? I shot her in the boob. I still can't remember anything. Is it possible that... I did this? Gotta hide the body. Looks like she's bleeding from the abdomen. Based on this evidence, 
The gun appears to be the most likely cause of death. Hmm. Interesting. When would this have taken place? It seems like this would have to take place pretty far down the line, right? If this woman's dead. Unless this is like there's some like multiverse shit. This guy said I'm from another dimension, right? That does make it seem like there's it's not just time travel, but like jumping to different like timelines or, or jumping to parallel universes or something. Is it possible this woman and I know each other? All I know is I woke up next to her with a gun in my hand. Was I the one who killed her? Ah, oh, well, just gonna leave her. <laughs> Fuck her. Some pills? This is where I woke up. Did I miss anything? Pills? Oh. It's highly likely these belong to me. So it fucked my memory? All right. I should see if that woman has anything useful on her. It might serve as a clue to what happened here. Oral NM C0204 is printed on the label. The bottle's made of plastic. There's nothing inside. I mean, I'd say that like, oh, he took this. He took the pills because he wanted to forget he killed this lady. But I mean, he'd wake right up and be like, ah, shit, I've got a gun in my hand and there's a dead woman here. So uh, I don't know how well that'd work. There's something in her skirt pocket. A piece of paper with numbers written on it. Are there any other clues around here? The note says 4436853214. Uh, what could it mean? A password of some sort? Yeah, it doesn't look like any kind of date, as far as I could tell. There's nothing else here. Oh, I haven't checked my own pockets yet. Let's see. An ID card. A student ID to be specific. And a key. But to what? This appears to be someone else's student ID. Sakura High School, class one. Oh. Iori Fuyusaka. Interesting. Fuyusaka. Her face does look familiar. But I can't remember how I know her. Hmm. It's uncanny, though. Almost like she's important to me. In one way or another. <laughs> Uh-oh. It's a student ID from Sakura High School. It appears to belong to a female student. Iori Fuyusaka, Class 1B. There's an emblem on it. Maybe it's a car key? Envelope. Someone dropped an envelope here. Got all these clues everywhere. With that woman? Whatever's inside seems to have stayed dry. There's nothing written on the envelope. Some documents are inside. There's a note and what looks like a personnel file inside. Chihiro Morimura. Occupation. Okay, that was her. Teacher. There are instructions written on the note. If capture is not possible, then shoot to kill. Orders for him or for her? Chihiro Morimura. There's no doubt about it. That's who this woman is. Well, was. Hmm. I'm right, trying to peace out. This is the place. Let's see what we can find. Someone's coming. I won't be able to talk my way out of this one. I need to get out of here before they see me. Check down this back alley too. Ah! They've got me surrounded. Was that Johnny Young Bosch? I need to hide. Where'd that boy run off? No, I don't think so. He has a gun. We'd best proceed with caution. We're authorized to use deadly force if necessary. No, it totally is! Yes. 
We need to clean. Let's totally Johnny Arkvash. If he gets away again, we're in deep shit. Johnny, what are you doing here? Let's contact HQ and tell them we're on it. I'll leave that to you. We'll monitor public transits. He can't have gone far. I, I think. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I feel like my voice game's been off. Sounds like I'm the one they're after. And that means I must be their culprit. Why can't I remember? No time for that now. I can't let myself be captured. If that is Johnny. Until I figure this all out for myself. That would make me wonder then if he's one of the main characters in the game too. I would imagine so. I don't think they're just bringing him for a NPC after the escape. Kayake River. What do I do now? If I don't get my memories back, what'll happen to me? Hey. Yo, what up? Wait, hold on. I got shit to think about. A fancy leather wallet. There are a few bills and coins inside. No credit cards, though. Yo, what up? Did you? Need something? You stick out like a sore thumb in this part of town. <laughs> really? Get yourself somewhere with lots of people. I still don't know how they do it, but they're able to track your general location. Wait, who are you? I'm here to return the package I borrowed from you. A package? Yeah, I left it over there. Oh, is that the robot? Is that BJ? I don't understand. Who are you? Do you know me? I'm not here for small talk. Coming here at all was risky enough as it is. Just go get your package. Okay, clearly she's not surprised that I'm not. Re I don't recognize her either. Wait, no! That's why she put it over there. She make a break for it. That is totally BJ. BJ. Magic. That girl said this belongs to me. Yep. Hello. <gasps> I can't imagine how seeing this must make you feel. I'm you from the future. I, the I didn't have much choice. I'm sure you've noticed by now. My name is A. Sekigahara. I'm you. If everything went according to plan, then I'm talking to myself, but with no memories. We don't have much time. There's no time. So I'm only telling you what you need to know. Total recall. This is not your world. You're a human from another dimension. This place you're in right now, your stay here was intended to be temporary. But there was an accident. A very grave one. And now many people are unable to return home. I, well, you are stuck here as well. But don't give up yet. There's still a way back. Unfortunately, I can't tell you here. You understand now, don't you? If they see this recording, they'll know. So I've hidden the information you need elsewhere. Its location is known only to me. You must find it. And don't get caught. If you do, there'll be no escape. You have to trust me. I only hope you make the right choice. That didn't work out for Arnold, though, in Total Recall. <laughs> BJ, where are you going? BJ! <sighs> How am I supposed to believe all that? Still, it does line up with what those men in black were saying. First things first, I need to get out of here. If what that girl said is true, then I'm not safe here. <laughs> to be continued. Interesting. I actually wonder maybe the reason why his rem he he erases memories or guys' memories erased because clearly that was a pl the plan, right? Is in case he got caught, so then he wouldn't be able to tell them anything, right? All right. Well, this is seemingly the final episode of the tutorial unless there's another battle tutorial after this we still haven't gone through all the characters yet though number 19 commence movement may 27th 5 21 p.m the scout unit's picking up multiple sentinels some are even fighting hey taro 
Holding up all right? Takatoshi-san, so it was you. No matter the war, it's an honor to fight at your side. Hmm. Shinonome-kun, you deployed without permission from the Shikishima facility? Who the fuck is this? It's my sentinel, isn't it? We haven't even seen her at all, I don't Another think. sentinel's being transmitted close by. So those two... Quite a party here. Did I miss an invitation? No, I think it's the first time we've seen I in, in a... Hey, Kun. You came too, Sekigahara? And why are you in that Sentinel? As long as it's functional, does it matter? I didn't come here for more of Sekigahara's flim flam. I'm going back to the front lines. Wait. Stay in position. If any one of us tries to do this alone, we lose any chance we have at victory. Fine. So you call the, shot. the guy with the the scar on his head, though, and uh, Takatoshi seemed to we will split into teams maybe have come from the same time period. And the assault team will include Sekigahara, Shinonome, Karabe, Hijiyama, Miura, and myself. The rest of you will defend the terminal until Aegis activates. Operation Aegis. We're really doing this, huh? We're short on firepower and time. We'll need every trick, every weapon in our arsenal. Right? They come. All right. Uh, victory condition, activate Aegis or destroy all kaiju. Uh, oh, interesting. Okay, so either or. So Aegis will just activate on its own after a while. Terminal destroyed or any pilot killed. Okay, one thing I got to remember is the triangle thing. That's the thing I forgot about last time, and I probably would have made that fight a lot easier. The, collecting the meta chips or whatever. Tutorial. Victory condition. The time remaining until the self-defense Aegis activates is displayed in the top of the screen. Oh, yeah. Okay, two minutes. Clear stage may either protect the terminal until the system activates or destroy the enemies until their assault ends. Uh. Okay. Eat this. Okay, uh, what do you do, girl? Heavy knuckles, rocket launchers, okay. Guardian, place a guardian in target area. Acts a decoy, distracting kaiju. Holy shit, there's a fucking bunch of these dudes. Uh, get him. Okay, so I've got the triangle move now. Terminal unleashes M EMP pulse, halts movement, and drops aerial kaiju. What's optimal? But you do have to pick and choose when you want to use it, because you only use it one time. Oh, Holy shit, it's getting nuts now. Damn. Eat this. That hit. Now then. Six multi-launching rapid cannons. Stack kaiju within the er target area in front of the Sentinel with high caliber rounds. Okay, long range missiles. Main battery heavy heavy railgun. Oh right, this one. This is the oh yeah, that's the one that goes in a perfect straight line and goes through shit. It's quite good in the right situation. Oh my god. Just put as many of these guys in here as I can. Here we go. Ah, think ahead. The practice round's over. Okay. Let's get him in here. Punch the shit out of these guys. Okay, he didn't actually hit all of them. Um, Arm-mounted laser. So this move, like... So these guys, they have this move that breaks arm... That goes through armor, but it's not super powerful, I've noticed. This kaiju thing here. Uh, Wait, where's Iori? Oh, not here. Oh, defense... Oh, I see. Defense is literally these guys. I was like, what are the green units over here? They're actually playing defense. They're on their own. I don't think I can control them at all, right? I don't think so. Hold on, hold on. Yes. So that's I. These are... Yeah. So they're just defending it. Gotcha. Yeah, this isn't, this isn't good for these guys, though. I did a decent amount. Uh, okay. I let's get you in and help. Uh, glasses guy, go Goto. Anti-air defense flares. 
spreads numerous flares in the air, instructing aerial kaiju and missiles. Demolisher blades. The slice through ground kaiju in front. Heavy damage ignores armor. Sick. Uh, okay, let's just, let's just have him move. Oh, I see. And uh, the these guys are actually flying. Glasses guys. So they can ignore the roads. But guys like I cannot. Um, okay, cool. Missiles. Number 11. Ready for this? What next? Uh, okay. Let's see. Is that one guy? Is that the only guy over on this side? Hey, use, the, use your HUD here. Just go and punch him. Boom. Fuck you. What? My turn. Oh, they, they're in, in his way. I was like, wait, what happened? Gotcha. Okay, this move can only hit one person though, right? Does this move also only hit one guy? Potentially? Actually, I don't know. Maybe, maybe this is multiple people. Let's see. Uh, no, this is hitting multiple people. Boom. Uh, hit. Hit. But we have not... I don't think we've seen this girl at all. Like, in any of the flashbacks. So she's just like, oh, yeah, she's here, too. So are all 13... Uh, 13 Sentinels here, then? I think they might be. Eat this. Brah. Leap attack. Leap frog. Long range missiles. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um... Okay, most of them are dead, except for this guy and this big guy, as long as no more show up. Heavy knuckle! Ah! Nice. Okay, let's have him go help out these guys as well. Number 12, moving How's the Sentinel? Uh, Demolisher Blade, go in for this guy. You're done. You're done. Ah! Oh my god! That work? Wow, that's just Fucking damage. Always think ahead. I'm in range. That easy. Man, yeah, it's got a lot of health. Not throwing away my shot. Long range missile. Can I hit him from here? I can't. What about this? This thing can't. Oh, boom! Sniped you. Ha <laughs> ha. Sick. Yeah. Didn't even need this Aegis system. Aegis activated. Terminal closure complete. Surrounding two kilometer area now fully secure. Ending tactical analysis. <sighs> Everyone all right. Beginning of the end. Or the end of the beginning. <laughs> cool. Sick. Oh, hi. An even battle between b battle and story. Easy battles for those who want to enjoy the story. Tough battles for those who want a serious fight. This can be changed at any time. Well, that's good. Um, I had uh, one of my mods recommend I do intense. Honestly, uh, I said it's more exciting that way. Maybe this was too easy or something. I don't know. The good news is we can change it any time, so if it ends up fucking me over, I can always change it. So I'm, I'm glad that's a that's a choice. So we'll go with intense for now. Mode selection unlocked. Play this story in remembrance. Engage in battles and destruction. Review events and lore and analysis. Oh shit! What? Destruction. Remembrance. Analysis. Whoa! Interesting. What's analysis? Oh, it's just going through this shit. Okay, so how far ahead did this go? Oh, oh I wish it trusted. This happened a long time ago with Amaguchi. Boy from the future. Identity, uh, I think it's gonna be far. Takatoshi, Juro stuff. Yup, it is quite far. A new awakening. Because the, the nurse is... If the nurse is dead... And then, yeah, the beginning there. 
Interesting. Interesting, though. So now I, I basically seem to unlock, like, the main mode of this game. But I haven't played as all the characters yet. Protagonist selection. Remembered stories diverge based on the actions you take. Seek out new paths to reveal more of the story. <gasps> really? Oh, so there is some decision-making in this. I was wondering, because the way they were setting up before saying you could skip through, like, red and unread things, right? That did make it seem like, oh, this is... It requires you to play through it multiple times. That's usually the reason why I stick it in there. Wow. Wait, this isn't everybody, though. Chart. Oh, okay. His chart. Complete Nenji Ogata's victim, uh, Victims of Poison. Do I even have that person? Oh, interesting. So I can't just play as everybody, even the ones I've started, until I play other people. Wow. Neat. This is a really this is a really crazy setup they have. Oh, we got some new stuff here. Isaki Gahara is a boy from another dimension who suffers from memory loss. When he wakes up, he finds the corpse of Chihiro Morimura beside him, but has no recollection of knowing her. To make matters worse, he is being chased relentlessly by men in black. He finds a message from his past self telling him to, to escape this world. Uh, I'm a Gucci's room. Anyone would be envious of this luxurious room. A whopping 20 tatami mat mats and floor space. It features a cutting edge audio system, the latest gaming consoles, a large bookshelf, and a fine view to boot. Uh, commercial district. The Gogio. The Gogio Street is a vertical street that runs down the center of high rise Aoi Ward. Suzuno Crossing is the highest vehicle traffic density out of all the areas. The Shisha. Shish, the Shikishima Industries Center Course is located nearby. Okay, and that's the... They mentioned the the weapons and stuff. Uh, the key. After I, Sekigahara, lost his memories, he finds this key in his pockets. A key for some sort of vehicle and has an emblem on the handle. Like a faux Mercedes or something. Black wallet, cryptic note, brown envelope. Let's look at time travel. That was the other one that kind of caught my attention before. From what you guys are telling me, it's not, this isn't going to really spoil anything too much. It's just going to elaborate on some things, right? Potentially, but nothing like plot spoilery, so I'm not going to get anything too in-depth, but... <laughs> oh, fuck you! Traveling to a past or future would be world by leaping across the flow of time. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> no fucking shit, Sherlock. Wow. Yeah, no, this isn't going to tell me uh, much. Okay, so what's the destruction? A new area has been unlocked. Oh, cool. Oh, and you can actually go back and replay any of these. Um, intense difficulty. Fuck, I don't know what I should do. Should I do do some battles, do some story? Uh, I should like alternate between them. It is a cool setup. Um, okay, who do I want to continue as? Uh, let's go with Juro, right? So he ran into Casper, uh, and they w headed home, and then he accidentally summoned a giant robot. So, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll go with that. Sure. Flowchart. Open the flowchart with square to view the protagonist's story paths. You can resume a story from events with blue checkpoints. Oh, shit. Look at this. I've got three options already. Wow. Fuck. Damn, this, this game's nuts, dude. It's gonna branch out like crazy. Bad news, Juro. What? Amiguchi's gone missing again. And he's at the cafeteria. Get ready to head over. Are you thinking of crashing his place again? Why not? Amiguchi-kun's not the most responsible oh, guy, yeah. but he's smart, athletic. And popular with the ladies. On top of that, his family is rich. He's got all the latest video game consoles in his room. Oh, okay. I've got a bunch of things to present to people, potentially. Oh, I forgot I had a flyer in there. One for the Daimos movie. Mighty Kaiju Daimos. A sci-fi movie from 1954. Heavy on the special effects. The first in what will become a long-running series. Oh, Ziori. Shall we go home together? Sorry, I have plans. You too? Sorry, Miwa-chan. It's okay. I'll go home by myself. I just got Miyuki and Crap. I have a new album on tape. I gotta get going. Oh, I don't have a cassette player. Then why'd you buy it? I could have you. 
Uh, actually, I can present all these things to him. Hey, I guess it's about Fuyasaka-san. I notice she always leaves during break time. And what about it? I'm just wondering where she goes all the time. Judging from what the other girls have been saying, she runs off to the nurse's office to take a nap. She's sleeping? What? You want to follow her to bed? Yeah. Come on, quit it. Okay, it's not the one you were looking for, but... <laughs> I found a little something else you've been wanting to see. You know, that hardcore foreign movie? Oh, shit. Don't make it sound so creepy. It's just a sci-fi... Hardcore! I also take the next episode of that drama series. The one where the alien runs away to Earth. Hmm. Is that the one where he teleports from the UFO to the bridge? Uh, oh, you've seen it already? I don't really remember watching it, but... I don't know. Maybe I did. Don't trust him, Jerry. He's in on the shit. Visitor from another world. In that movie, an alien's UFO breaks down. So he runs away to take refuge on Earth. There's a famous scene where he teleports onto a bridge. While I was taping that show, I remembered something else. I totally forgot last week. They were airing UFO wars on TV. I can't believe I missed it. Interesting. I still got red icons. So it seems like it this doesn't... The red icons up in the top right corner must mean the things that I need to progress the story, right? So these, all the things I'm presenting to this guy are optional, I think. I wonder if there's any way to tell which ones are going to progress the story from, like, when I'm selecting it. Will I get a color or something? Like, will I see the red color over this instead? I wonder. Or only after I've just made my decision. And I'm guessing... I don't know. It's, it's going to be hard to tell if... So we finished the the prologues, right? Is everything that I'm going to do with these characters afterwards going to be taking place after their prologues or we're going to be jumping around in time like we have been? It probably be jumping around in time. We'll probably be controlling ourselves at a certain point that will count as the present and then flashing back to other points and then controlling ourselves there too or something. Damn, there's a lot of options and shit though. Like, I, I kind of thought this would all be like really straightforward, but it's actually the fact that it's got branching paths and optional fluff dialogue that you can get for showing people certain things that don't progress the story. I thought, again, every time you persist something, it always progress the story. Not the case. We can't go to his place every single day. What if we're annoying him? Then let him be annoyed. I still get to play his games. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that counted as actually is green. That one. I thought red was always the... Wait. Or did it? One of the red ones disappeared. What happened? <laughs> oh, oh. Maybe one of the students left. So maybe Iori or Miwa or uh, Glasses Gr Morgana, they like got... They left before I got a chance to go down that branching path. Perhaps. Mayhaps. Hey. Remember the original Daimos movie I mentioned? Mighty Kaiju Daimos? They're showing it at the theater right now. Want to go see it? Isn't that the crappy old theater by Tsutsuji Station? I'd rather rent it on video. Then we can watch it on Amiguchi's big TV. Cheaper, too. But, wait, maybe? No. That time I did see. That time the red disappeared from from that. I, I guess. I don't know. I'm trying to understand this shit entirely, but I don't know if fully get it. Maybe this this show this one. Maybe, maybe I was wrong. Maybe maybe I did lose the red one. Oh, I'm in luck. The quality is not that great though. I recorded it in EP mode. Jeez, get your hands on some better tapes. The music's so good. Okay, never mind. No, I was right. I was actually right the first time. Red is red is the presenting it to somebody. Green is just the thinking about it. Released in 1977. This was the first in a hit series from the United States. 
It's a dramatic sci-fi adventure taking place in a galaxy far, far away. Its popularity holds strong no matter how much time passes. I wonder then if it'll be obvious which are like the branching paths. Uh, I seem to have three green things, but it only shows one lit up at the time. Oh, uh, I'm trying to understand how this stupid color thing works. So like the top right, three. there's three green things. I've got three green things, but only one of them's lit up. Is there one over here that's brighter than the other? Okay, that was the one. Oh, okay. I think that's like just considered a game, but it's. She always seems to be sleeping. It's odd. And then she shows up in my dreams. I can't help but be a little curious about her. Yeah. So they're like, it's not necessary, but think about some more. <laughs> I don't know. It's tough to get a hold of these days. Okay, we got all the things though. It's like trying to understand the color system of the little little triangles and stuff. I wonder if it'll be obvious, like when you can like the branching paths and stuff. Is that this week's issue? Yep. Last week was a real cliffhanger. I'm dying to know what happens. Well then, allow me to explain. After all hell breaks loose, the main character just stop right there. One more word, and you're going on my shit list. You want to die today? I curse Hackney, bitch. I kill people. Didn't you want to go to Amiguchi Kun's house? Whoops. This is no time to be reading comics, huh? Let's head to the cafeteria. If we're too slow, we'll lose him. This is a very similar situation, there, right? To how we started the last one. But this is like sort of like a reset, it seems like. But it is interesting too, because the fact that we're multiple branching paths, then what's the one true path, right? Like, what does that mean? It, that it does sort of lead me to believe that there is some uh, parallel universe shit going on here, right? It's not just forward and backward a time. It's jumping also sideways, Steins Gate style, to other other timelines. Enter Hall. Oh, now I run fast. Okay, so it just depends on the area. The bigger the area, the faster you go. What? We're going to the cafeteria. That's the long way around. Let's use the other stairway. Fine. God, these graphics though. Look at like the like the lens flare or something. The like reflections coming off the the door here. Look at that. Look at that shit. Just crazy, man. Hey, it's I. Not here either, huh? Ashina. Well, oh, crap. So much for gaming today. Huh? Oh, Juro-kun. Hi, Minami-san. Hey, girl. Uh. What's up? Well, uh, you know, about that. Guy. I like your booty shorts. I'm just wondering how long he's planning to stay over. Ah, right. About that. Um, he's got a lot going on, you know. Huh? If you could let him stay a bit longer, I'd appreciate it. You're the best. Oh, would you look at the time? I've got to go. Let's talk later, okay? Does she drop BG off at his place or something? Is that what she's talking about? It seems like they were trying to be sort of quiet and subtle about it. Who's that chick? Minami-san, my neighbor. Uh, oh. My grandma's pretty close with her family. Okay. You're looking pretty close yourself. <laughs> what are you trying to <laughs> imply? This is a serious issue at home. I was supposed to have this free time to myself. Ah, so much for that. Huh. Oh! Recall at Karabe House. Ooh! Yes, please. That day, 
my life's been turned upside down. Upside doodly. Interesting, I could choose to, to go back there or not. I mean, I probably had to anyway, but... Damn, nice... Uh -huh. Nice pad, Karabe. Guess I fell asleep. Mmm. Smells good. I have a very distinct feeling she dropped BJ off at his place. I think that thing with BJ did take place a while back. So I came back to the... Uh, oh. Huh? Oh, you're up. Dinner's almost ready. Could you get the chopsticks? Who? Huh? Who are you? Are you the glasses chick? Or, or wait, are you my mom? Thanks. Go ahead and place them at the table. That's the glasses girl. Who? Wait. Wait. Glasses girl. She had the hots for Juro Izumi, right? Yeah. But she was pissed. Because she he forgot her. And now she's at his house? And they're eating shit together? Oh, fuck. Gotta get the deets. She probably didn't realize it, but these are matching chopsticks. Like, for a married couple. <sighs> that only makes me feel even more awkward. Come on, Jura, get some. Fucking get some. Okay, do I show it to her? No? Where am I going? Oh, oh I'm going over here. We're newlyweds or something. Okay, no. I'm not following that train of thought. Yes, you are. I need to come up with a way to kick her out. Oh. Oh! Did she sort of like invite herself in here or something? Dinner's ready. Shall we start? That, yeah, that's Yakashiji. Okay. You have bags under your eyes. It's because you stay up late watching movies every night. You need to get to bed early. We're the same age. Stop acting like you're my mom. Besides, I can't fall asleep even if I wanted to. Oh? Why not? Well, because... You're here. Me? Have I done something wrong? Come on. We're a boy and a girl... Alone together? Puberty exists. Are you trying to torture me? But she digs you, dude. Definitely digs you. Hey, uh, we really shouldn't be living together like this. Are you afraid of someone finding out? Well, that's part of it. Ah. Anyway, living together, okay. I want you out of here by next month. <laughs> oh, okay. If you say so. Get the fuck out. Someone's here. Oh shit, hide. Hide. Jeez. Oh, wait, are you the friend? That's staying here? That is it, isn't it? She's saying So I and her know each other potential I I might get ahead of myself, but I don't know, let's just, let's just see. Are you home? Minami-san. Couldn't you have knocked first? Come on. Your Granny Tamao and I are best buds. We're neighbors. Think I don't know my way around the place? Anyway, I've got a favor to ask. Yeah? Oh my god. Juro-kun? I didn't know you cooked. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, he does. She, so, uh, she does not know favor you need? that Yakushiji's here. What? The favor is. Oh, Minami-san, I didn't know you lived so close. Oh my God! Did you really need to come out? Your Yakushiji-san, our classmate. We're fucking. Wait, no way. Are you two? Do you need something from him? Oh my God. She's totally fine with it. Why did you do this to me? Ah, bail, Juro, bail. <laughs> I'm out, peacing out. Just fucking TV I off. Sleep with the TV on. 
Just gonna turn this off because I think it's about to get real. It's not what it looks like. <laughs> yes, it is. This is just, you know, Natsuno san. What the fuck? Who's th what's this guy doing here? Come on in. Pardon my interruption. <sighs> so this house is still standing. See, I haven't unlocked this guy yet either. You? My name is Keitaro Miura. So, um, it's kind of complicated, but yeah. I hadn't actually met him yet? Okay. I need you to let him stay over for a few days. Oh, this guy. What? <laughs> what? I understand you're Tamao-san's grandson. This guy reminds me Ishimaru. How do you know Minami-san? Come on. I know you have a spare room. Just let him stay until your granny's back. In exchange, I won't tell anyone you're living with a girl. That's not... The details don't matter. Just let him stay, all right? What the fuck? Thanks. See ya. Dick move. I... Right. I've already... Isn't she already staying here, though? Why is everyone crashing in my place? Pardon me. I know Natsuno-san's intentions are good, but... Are you hungry? Why don't you join us for dinner? Are you hungry? I got a meal for you right here. There goes my simple high school life. <laughs> Things just keep getting weirder and weirder. <gasps> to be continued. Oh. Meta. Wait, I got meta chips. Cool. Mr. Files obtained. One updated. Events archives obtained. I can actually, I can actually look at them. Ooh. Natsuno Minami. Oh, cool. That's, it actually has it highlighted, too. She's, she's very close to her neighbor, Granny Tameo, Jirokrabe's grandmother. Fuck, I didn't mean to do that. Fuck, I probably... Uh, God damn it. Let me figure out which ones were... Another freeloader. Okay, so this happened... Life of Natsuno Minami. Talking kitty. Wait, the talking cat thing came after... She stayed at his place? Really? Huh. That's interesting. And wait, let me look at this chart here. Interesting. Freeloaders. Okay, so I, that's how I scroll around. Oh, what the hell? I did. What? Whoa. Whoa. I've already, I've already made two choices and I didn't even realize it. I went to the cafeteria. Oh. Oh, oh, it, it it actually tells you what you have to do. That's kind of convenient. So I guess I could have chosen not to do that if she's at home. Um, eavesdrop on Sawatari and others conversation. Get rid of Shiba in the classroom or the hallway. Oh, really? Wait, what is that? Shu Amaguchi stack of papers. What are these key things? Issues at home. Is it like what it's saying it's unlocking? And if I continue, will it continue from the flashback? I'm just kind of curious. <laughs> just, just hop in here real quick. Oh, okay. I guess that was the end of that point. Thanks for making my life easier, man. Right, how, how do I skip stuff? Oh, issues at home. It's got added. I see. Interesting. I'm gonna listen in. Uh, not really. Sorry. I just got Miyuki and Abba's new album on tape. I don't have a cassette player. Then why'd you buy it? Wait, who am I listening into? Sawatar. Yeah, these guys, right? Usami-chan, you've been acting strange lately. Are you okay? You seem kind of stressed out. But you're just fine, right? Hey. I'm worried about you. Yuri chan! Shall we go home together? Sorry, I have plans. Wait, how do I how do I skip stuff again? Let me look that up for later. Oh! <gasps> Mr. Kitty! That's cool. Hey, we see everybody here. There's all the 13 people. So at some point I, I still gotta control Kataru Yuki. Uh, Nenji. Uh, this Ryoko girl. I guess Yagoto, too. 
uh, tell me. And yeah, that's everybody. So still quite a few people I have, have, have not even unlocked yet. Oh, that's a big manual I got here. Oh, R1 to fast forward. Oh shit. If you're looking for him, I just saw him by the vending machines. Oh. The break area? Yeah. Crap. I got to get going. Oh, I see. And I present that to I should head out too. See you, Miwa-chan. To my pal. There are drink vending machines at the break area. Interesting how when I'm thinking about stuff though, the time doesn't stop, right? If what Fuyusaka-san said was right, we should be able to find Amiguchi-kun there. I think I know where Amiguchi-kun is. He's probably outside at the break area. Huh? You mean that place with the vending machines? Let's check it out. Let's go. Uh, are we on? Oh, I gotta grab my bag. Let's go. Oh. Ah! You'll be home for dinner, right? I'll cook something for oh you. Oh my god, she's sitting there right in front of my hey, friend. Watch what you're saying. We're still at school. Is this guy and really not hearing this? Here. It's too hard to talk to her with Shibakun around. Hmm. What's wrong? Nothing. We've got to get to the break. If we're too slow, we'll the fucking shit out of here. Okay, okay, fine, fine. What's up with the Yaki Soba Pond lately? What? They're always sold out. <laughs> I wonder. Yaki Soba Pond. Yaki Soba Pond, man. Is that a Kino? There you are, my little arcade. Oh my god, this guy's such a fucking mooch. Amiguchi-kun. Ah. Oh. Yeah, what up, dudes? What's up? That was. That was totally a Kino. Could we hang out again today? You got it. Let's see. Why don't we go to your place this time? Wait, Juro's place? <laughs> no! No! Well, you said it, all right? Actually, we can't go to my place because of issues! It's true, my grandma's away visiting relatives, but... His TV's a piece of junk. Well, right now, I have a guest staying over. Things are a little awkward, so... Uh, sorry, it's just not a good time. Well, all right. It's interesting how this game has set up its plot, because, like, the fact that it's got basically story moment right star visual novel uh uh gameplay like they're actually all separated right uh battle gameplay and then literally analysis of like you trying to piece all the the story together it's super interesting and really like unique i like it let's go to my place then that's mommy <laughs> my man thanks time is money let's go already Wait, not yet. Is there something else here? Oh. Drink cart and vending machine. Wait, I can't look at the one that Akina was looking at. Come on, dude. Quit dawdling. It says it's out of change? Never seen that before. Oh. My favorite drink is sold out. No! Is that all that's here? All right, all right, let's go. That night at Shu Amaguchi's apartment. Oh my God. It's already seven o'clock. It's just him playing by himself, isn't it? What a dickhead. <laughs> what a fucking asshole. What is he playing? Man, Amiguchi's place is the best. 
Any game you want to play, he's got it. He really is a rich kid, huh? I'm jealous. <laughs> you really are a mooch. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Yo, someone's got old 80s Pepsi from Japan. My man! You said you wanted a drink, right? You cool with soda? Thanks, Amiguchi-kun. <sighs> Damn, drink. They just <laughs> fucking shotgun that, that soda. Talk to me right now. You'll break my concentration. God, Shiba, you're fucking. You're such a dickhead. <laughs> also, you're hiding the truth from me too. I wish you just kind of doesn't seem to. He's just like, like whatever, right? It's getting dark. We should probably go get dinner soon. You're coming, right? My treat. You already paid for my ramen last time. I feel kind of bad. Then what? You want to call it a day? I can still tag along. I'll just pay for my own food. Damn. That means I've got to pay too. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you do. Come on, asshole. Pause the game. Uh, just one more, okay? I need to try that again. If I die this time, I'll switch with you. No, dude. I want to eat, you stupid dickhead. Borrowed video. Did you watch the video? Hey, I'm not gonna ignore a friend's recommendation. Did you already finish it? What did you think? Kind of a campy plot. You've got this mad scientist who loses his real body, so he builds a new body and sets out bent on revenge. Yeah. It was interesting, but definitely not for casuals. <laughs> for a B movie? That just proves it's a masterpiece. I can't see. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, Shiba. I can't see. <laughs> I can't see. God damn it, Casper. Whoa. What's up? What's up? Just learning something about you. I figured you were only really into Western music. Never thought you'd be into the idol scene. Miyuki Inaba. Oh. She's been really getting big lately, hasn't she? Someone show up on his TV, right? You know how it is. Just got curious. Hmm. That's not the real reason though, right? Anything else to look at? I don't think so. I can't see. Fuck you. I'm getting hungry. Did you want to just grab dinner and go home? Actually, uh, do you think I could stay a little longer? I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> don't make me go home, my weird, creepy roommates. My old man's probably at his mistress's place again. And I'm all by myself here. Stay as long as you want. Thanks. Say, uh, any specific reason you don't want to go home? Well, the person I'm living with is, uh... I can't put the blame on her. I'm the one with the problem. If I'm around her too long, I might... Huh? Anyhow, want to get food? Around here too long? I should but Hmm. We're leaving. Hold on, I'm almost done. So we're leaving. We could swing by the video store. Pick up something new to watch. Oh, speaking of. Before I forget again, here you go. Is that the sequel to that sci-fi flick? All right, let's check it out when we get back. We can watch it together. I'm gonna have to pass. Oh, not in the mood for horror? That's not it. <sighs> Sorry, it's just... I think I've been watching too many movies lately. I'm getting kind of scared. I keep having weird dreams. Again? Aren't these guys having terrible dreams too? In the dream, I... I went insane. I killed everyone around me. Who? Including Fuyasaka-san. And you. Uh, 
Yakushiji too. So now I feel anxious whenever she's around. Hmm. Well, I'm scared. I might end up actually killing her. <laughs> None of this thing you should be going to just telling other people about. By the way, I might secretly be a psychopath. Jerk rob his dream. Uh oh. Ah, dead, dead, dead. Izumi-san, stop, please. You killed everyone. Oh. How could you do such a thing? Back to Zumi though, not you. Not Karabe. You came to the future for this? Whatever happened to protecting us? Ida. We had it all wrong. The true cause of this disaster was you. What? Damn, look how fucking jacked Jiro is. Nano machines. You all have them. What? Nano machines, son. What's calling the Dimos here? As long as you kids are alive, the hordes will keep on coming until they've destroyed all time and space. You're lying. I'm sorry. Oh, dead. I think these are like alternate timelines. Basically, this right? Is the only way. No. This is like no. a different Juro coming here from a fucked up timeline. The pain will only last for a moment. So this is clearly it's an too late to back out now. Clearly a older Azumi, right? Or Juro. And finish the job. In order to escape from this eternal cage, it must be done. The cause of this was us. You're persistent, Ida. Don't worry. I'll put you out of your misery. Twenty Ida? Oh, ow! My God! My God! What have you done, Jiro? Boobs, boobs, boobs. Mori Morasan. Where's the wound? Let me see it. This was all for you, Mori Mora. What the fuck? Ah! Uh, Timmy, <laughs> Jesus Christ! Meta chips. Uh, the fuck nano machines? Hmm. Oh, interesting. Go to Amaguchi's house. The breaker. So I guess you could have done something else. Mystery files obtained. Event archives obtained. Terrible dream. That's actually fairly close to when the beginning happens. What about the when the dream actually happens? I don't know if I actually see that anywhere. Oh, there it is. A, re a relentless nightmare. Way in the back here. So we have nano machines in us that are some of the Dimos. What? Oh my God. So many questions. So much confusion. Uh, so I've got any mystery points though. Fuck. So I mean, I'm 33% through Juro shit. I guess, I guess so. So what, what did I need to do here? It doesn't tell me. And this one doesn't tell me either, but this one does. Why is that? I wonder. Oh, do I need something else that I haven't? I think that's what it's saying. Saying that it's locked under issues at home. Is that? I think that is it. I, the locks. Yeah. So like it's saying shoe Amaguchi and stack of papers. I have those. I have those key items that I need. Basically my thought bubbles or whatever. That means I can, I can do this next one. So it tells me. I think these are locked. That, meaning I can't actually do them yet. Because I haven't acquired certain uh, information. I mean, it's probably stuff that I, I this character would already know, but I, the viewer, the player, have not has not acquired it yet. Crazy. Hmm. Okay, guys. Well, I think I probably want to end things here for now. I think I'm already fairly far into this. I didn't want to check out another battle, but I think I'll have to save that for next time. I'll try to do my best to sort of alternate between the bits of story as well as some battles and stuff. But wow, it does give you a lot of sort of flexibility to sort of decide how you want to tackle things, right? And the fact that it's just separate into analysis is so cool, man. This is such a, what a interesting and sort of captivating setup this is. Fuck, man. I'm a fun piecing this shit together. Um, but God, I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. If you are, please feel like it a favorite. It really does help me out. And subscribe if you're not ready to come be Penguin for the SLP where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And guys, please, please keep that fan art coming, all right? If you're an artist, please, Get some good fan art of this shit, because this game, this game definitely deserves to 
have more attention than it's gotten. And I'll be showing off uh, whatever you guys make on the uh, fan art of the day, as well as retweeting and stuff. But anyway, guys, as always, till next time, stay classy.